Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Before I fell in love with Hindi film, I fell in love with the Hindi film industry. In 1989, straight out of college, I got a job with the now defunct movie magazine. But I wasn't deeply interested in the movies. The magazine job was supposed to be a stopgap, a sort of diversion till I figured out what I really wanted to do. In a few months, I understood that I had found my calling. I fell in love hard, not so much with the artistry of Hindi film, but with the intoxication of the Hindi film industry. It was gaudy and chaotic, but also instantly seductive. The personalities were outsized. The environment was so informal and porous that on the pretext of an interview, you could spend hours hanging out with stars. The proximity to fame was heady. It was like having front row seats to a colorful, constantly dazzling Broadway show. My love for the industry evolved into a passion for film which has defined most of my adult life. Meanwhile, the industry metamorphosed into Bollywood. Agents, minders, contracts, bound scripts, publicists, entourages all became part of the system. What was once considered literally and metaphorically an andhere ka dhanda became legitimate. Over the last 25 years, Bollywood has attained what New York University anthropologist Dr. Tejaswini Ganti calls cultural legitimacy, which means an acceptance from sectors of society that haven't been their traditional audience base. No matter where I travel, when I say I'm from India, the response is invariably, ah, Bollywood. In 2013, I traveled to the Marrakesh International Film Festival. When I told my hairstylist that I'm from India, he started singing Tujhe Dekha To Ye Jana Sanam. He, like most of the country, was besotted with Shah Rukh Khan. Bollywood, once seen as kitschy third world cinema, slowly came to be recognized as a vibrant and profoundly popular art form. But Bollywood has never just been a style of filmmaking. It's a culture and a religion. Literally, fans have built temples for actors like Shah Rukh and Amitabh Bachchan. Over the years, Hindi films have taught us how to love, what to wear, how to style our hair. They've shaped our dreams and aspirations and gifted us with boundless pleasure. I experience it each time I see the beauteous Madhubala as an Arkali defying a thunderous emperor as she sings Pyar Kya To Darna Kya in Mughle Azam. Or when Viru sways drunkenly from the water tank in Shole. Or when Raj and Simran reunite in that field in Punjab to the strains of Tujhe Dekha To or when Bhuvan hits that winning six in Lagan, or when Kabir Khan's Rakshaso Ki Sena lifts the Women's Hockey World Cup in Chakte, India, or when Poo pouts in Kabhi Khushi Kabhi Gum and declares, tell me how it was. I don't know about you, but my life would be infinitely less joyous and less magical without Hindi film. And I say this as a person whose profession it is to criticize. For almost 30 years now, I've reeled against shortcomings in the movies and in the business. There are raging problems that need fixing, especially in the industry. Everything that Bollywood has been accused of in the last few months, drugs, discrimination, vanity, arrogance, cowardice, greed, nepotism, favoritism, could be true, as it is true for the rest of the country and every other ecosystem. Sports, politics, business, tech. The Hindi film industry is not a hotbed of sin polluting an otherwise pristine nation. But since the tragic demise of Sushant Singh Rajput, Bollywood has come under siege. The attack has been unstinting, slanderous and specious. I've seen the industry go through terrible times. The mafia years in the late 90s and early 2000s were especially hard. But the current viciousness and hate furthered by media, social media and paid trolls is new and bewildering. It would be comical if it weren't so sad. This is an industry built on sweat and ambition, tears and dreams. According to the Deloitte MPA report, economic impact of the film, television and online video services industries in India, released in May, film and allied industries like television and streaming make a contribution of 349,000 crores, direct and indirect, to the economy and employ approximately 26.6 lakh people, direct and indirect. And this does not include, as Nitin Tej Ahuja, CEO of the Producers Guild of India, points out, the income of the Gwalior barber peddling Karthik Aryan haircuts, the Jalandar choreographer training bridesmaids to perform Didi Tera Devar Diwana, or the Chandni Chok tailor selling Simran lehengas. Hindi cinema permeates every aspect of our lives, and yet the artists who create this cinema are being assaulted in ways that are hideous and heartbreaking. The men and women who have entertained us for decades have become collateral damage in a political war being waged by opportunists. The industry has become a smokescreen being used to obfuscate. It's graceless and dangerous, and sadly, there seems to be no end in sight. 
But the next time you sit in judgment or click in gleeful anticipation on an article that claims to reveal sensational details about the filth in the film industry, remember that their art has nourished your life. This is a business teeming with bright, talented, hardworking people and the show will go on as it always does. Mm -hmm.